Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here. Today we're at Adobe Video World and I was lucky enough to run into Shadab Rashid, who is the CTO and co-founder of Palette. Hi everybody. And Palette is a really nifty device where you can use switches and knobs to control various different um, interfaces within various different software. Um, and what we're interested in here since we're at Adobe Video World is After Effects, Premiere Pro, Audition. And so first, I'm going to ask Shadab um, a few questions about how they came up with the idea for Palette. Um, and then we're going to dive into a quick little demo of how we use it. So um, Shadab. Yeah, so this project it came out of an engineering design project of a university. So we often used to get feature requests or just feedback from some of our amateur musicians, musician friends, that they are stuck with one size fits all model when it comes to the MIDI controller, when it comes to just keyboard and mouse. It's like different applications have like totally different needs of what you want to control with. And these applications are so like so powerful. You can do mm -hmm. so many different things with it and the creative process is extremely complicated. Right. But you end up wasting a lot of time just if you're just st stuck with a keyboard and mouse. So that's why we wanted to come up with a modular control mm -hmm. surface like you can you can get just as many buttons and dials you want. You're mm -hmm. not stuck with one size fits all. Right. And we trying or we tried to come up with a much more fun, tactile mm -hmm. way of editing and which also makes you faster at your work. Yeah. And you guys just launched last year and you started with a Kickstarter campaign, correct? Yeah. So right. last year we started shipping and selling publicly. Like mm -hmm. the Kickstarter campaign was about a year ago uh, before that. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, uh, yeah, we've been mainly focusing on the photography solu solutions at first. Mm -hmm. So people who use Lightroom, Photoshop, mm -hmm. we have really nice soft integrations for those applications. And this year, starting with you know NAB earlier this year, mm -hmm. uh, we released some Premiere Pro features, and we've been continuously adding more and more features for Adobe Video and audio software. That's great. And you were mentioned earlier that. It started with the music industry, correct? Like musicians? Uh, well, that's where we yeah. were getting feedback from mm -hmm. because that music industry had, you know, faders for a very long time. Uh, if you're considering like production studios mm -hmm. or, you know, live musicians, pe people were performing live. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason they still have it mm -hmm. because there's no, there's no replacement to, you know, to your muscle memory, to mm -hmm. the tactility. Like, the precision that they get. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to bring that type of experience just for general day editing. Yeah. And, you know, it, you're way faster and way more precise mm -hmm. when you don't have to look through very complicated, you know, menus and tiny yeah. buttons and screens to figure out Especially where Especially if you are. don't have like a mouse or anything like that, you know? Yeah. Like, so it's like hard to like select things and it's not as accurate. Exactly, and, yeah. And also editors, like we don't have like all the nice gear like cinematographers sometimes. Like it's nice to have something that we could have and be like show off, you know? It's yeah. kind of fancy and cool. Yeah, and in the video editing world, people might think that, oh, this type of control surface only makes sense for colorists. Mm -hmm. But it, it can be, it is very useful for any video editor. Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of us are one woman shows or one man exactly. shows yeah. and so it's good to be able to know how to do things faster because that's what we have to do right at the end of the day is just get our product out and if we can switch those knobs yeah 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 that's great um so why don't we go ahead and do a quick demo of how it works sure okay I'd cool love to. so okay. these are palette modules this is the core, this is the brain of palette, and this is the one that we just have to connect over micro USB cable to okay. our computer. So it also has an OLED display, which, uh, you can, uh, which you know you can use to see which app you're controlling. Mm -hmm. So if you're switching between different applications, our palette app will automatically switch to the right profile for you. Mm -hmm. And this is our palette app. Okay. You know, it's very easy to install you know once you buy the hardware you get the mm -hmm. software for free you just simply download mm -hmm. and install it does it automatically pop up with these profile types or do you have to add them yeah it, these are all the different profile types that you can create for palette okay so this is this is this would be a typical you know first screen mm -hmm. and because we were in adobe video world let's start with premiere pro okay so once you create a premiere pro profile because the core is already connected, it detects it automatically. 
Now, all you have to do is just keep connecting modules. And as you connect them, it shows up on the screen. Right. You can see things move as you move them. Let's say I add a couple of cool. extra ones. They also light up. Um, it's not just for mm -hmm. appearance or form right. factor. You can actually color code them so okay. that it's easy to remember. So like the actual what. light would change color? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So for example, um, say if you want to set a function to this button, mm -hmm. all you have to do is point and click to the button on the screen. Okay. And you can already see a list of functions on the screen. Great. And you can also search because, you know, sometimes it does have a lot of functions. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say we want to use a button to razor all tracks. It will also tell you, I'll give mm -hmm. you a little description of what it does. So let's see you choose this one. And let's say we adjust this slider for controlling exposure on the Lumetri color panel. Got it. Now if you come here, mm -hmm. you can see the slider inside oh, wow. Premiere Pro changing as you change things on the palette hardware. That's so cool. And let's add a few other modules. Okay. Uh, your dials, another slider. And just in case I would forget if mm -hmm. which one I said, that's what the color coding comes in handy yeah, for. Yeah, that's so where you, you set can, your own. Yep, you can use it for. Also, our screen will remind you which function you're using. Oh, great. So, if you're using exposure, as you can see, the screen mm -hmm. actually shows you the function exposure. Mm -hmm. so let's set a few other helpful functions. Also, you can set the profile name, and the I profile see. name will also be very useful when you make multiple. Premiere Pro profiles. So even if you just have a couple of modules, a couple mm -hmm. of button sliders, you can just have multiple profiles created and just press That's a button great. to toggle through them. So it's like if I had one profile for color correction, mm -hmm. one profile for audio editing. Exactly. Yeah. Got it. And right. one for like timeline editing. Exactly. Got it. So let's say we set this to playhead. So now if you come here, you can just gently move the dial to see the frames change. And that's great for anybody that needs to scroll through really yeah. quickly. And you don't have to have the focus anywhere specifically. Mm -hmm. As you can see, like I'm moving around with my keyboard and mouse and touching mm -hmm. all sorts of different things. You can also right. press down and turn for bigger jumps, coarse movements. Oh, okay. So for even color adjustments, you can mm -hmm. toggle through you know, fine tune and coarse yeah. adjustments. So it's really a refinement tool, right? So like once you get your rough cut done, mm -hmm. this is when palette comes in handy. Yeah, you can definitely use it for refinement, but you can yeah. just use it for your day-to-day -day editing tasks as mm -hmm. well. You can use a dial for jumping between edit points, like next edit, previous edit. Oh, okay, like can you jump between markers? Yeah. Oh, you can. That's cool. Um, you can, you know, use a button to remove transitions of all selected clips. Then that function you yeah. can even do using you know, Premiere Pro by itself. Yeah. So there are a lot of things. Just because we have very tight soft integration, we have been mm -hmm. working closely with the Adobe engineering teams. Right. We're able to do a lot of things, uh, which you can't really do just with your keyboard, mouse, and mm -hmm. shortcuts. Also, if you have a set of keyboard functions that you're already used to, you mm -hmm. can also map these to keyboard shortcuts as well. Oh, great. So, for example, for a dial. Mm -hmm. You just go to the keyboard mode. Oh, okay. And for different, like right turn, left turn, you can actually set different things. So this, I'll just say, say L, left turn is like J, and dial press, you have K. Okay. And you can control the sensitivity, like how fast the keyboard shortcuts will mm -hmm. be emitting. And you can also set your custom label. And So they function as the shortcuts on the yeah. keyboard. So you can adjust whatever. So this is just the shuttle functions as most mm -hmm. Premiere Pro users are used to. I see. And you can cu set custom la labels as well. So because you just entered JKL, mm -hmm. let's just say shuttle. Okay. So now it will just be known as shuttle. Okay. And whichever profiles you create, you can save them. You can share them with others. Mm -hmm. You don't have to create it once after you, you know, go through mm -hmm. the process of clicking them. We actually 
you know, bundle a few yeah. preset profiles anyway, mm -hmm. the most frequently used functions, yeah. so that right when you start, you don't have to go through the setup steps. Can you share the profiles through the cloud? Not yet. Okay. But we do, I'm, I assume you meant Adobe Cloud. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Not yet, but in the future, maybe. Okay. You can share it in our own community sites. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good point. Maybe we should do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, the feedback process here yeah. is happening. Great. Live feedback. Well, is there anything else that you want to tell us about a palette? I mean, yeah. So there's a lot. As I was <laughs> saying, yeah. There's there's so many features, and every every user is so unique in their editing process. Mm -hmm. Like different people love to try out different things. Mm -hmm. But some of the cool features of Premiere Pro would be so Lumetri panel is definitely one. You can adjust most of these, uh, pretty much all of the color sliders you have. Okay. But for those who love to, you know, do some audio mixing, all of the sliders that you have, those things can also be used with palette. Ah, yeah, that would be super useful. And I'll just show you, because there are so many functions exposed for each of the buttons, dials, and sliders, and it's contextual. So for a slider, it will only, will only expose features that make sense to be controlled with sliders, right? So you can already see for a slider, you can change scale, opacity, lumetri color, effects, audio effects, and audio mixer. Mm -hmm. So you can do volume or pan. Mm -hmm. And for dial, you have similar, but you also have mm -hmm. a lot of other general stuff that you can apply for anything. I love it. And for buttons too, there's lots of, uh, you can add effects like snap. Okay. Actually, there's a, I think there's a preset I've already saved before. Okay. Let's try this one. Yep. So over here, I just used a dial mm -hmm. to assign s to snap. snapping, right? Okay. So you can just use quickly use a dial to snap left, oh, snap right. And you can use another dial to zoom in, zoom out the timeline. Mm -hmm. You can use another dial to just move the playhead. So there's a, vari great. there's a variety of functions that you can use on your day-to-day -day editing. Mm -hmm. That's great. I love it. Well, thanks so much for giving us this overview. It's Not a problem. Fantastic. And you know, where can people follow you guys? And yeah, so you can you can buy it. You can check out palettegear.com. Okay. Uh, we sell directly from our website. We also sell through various uh, other um, entities, retailers, distributors. B and H is a big one in North America, oh, yes. mm -hmm. and Adorama. Yeah. yeah. So there are quite a few other places you can also buy palette. Well, you guys go check it out. Um, and thanks, Shadav, again. And yeah. enjoy the rest of Adobe Video World. You too. Yeah. It was great running into you. Yeah.